So in this session, we will see internalization in SAP UI5. So let's just see the agenda for this session. So we have here overview. First, I will just give the overview of internalization and all. Then we will just see the local script files for different different languages. We have different script files and then we will conclude our session by giving an example on the internalization. So moving on. So this is internalization overview. So what is internalization? It's a way how computer software could be adapted to different languages. So internalization which stands in st short for I18N and 18 stands for the number of characters between I and N. Similarly for localization L10N the number of characters between L and N. So internalization it is a designing software so that it can be adapted to different languages across the world. So similarly localization is the pr pr process of adapting internalized, internalized software to the particular region or language by specifying the local specified scripts. So in SAP UI5 we use it to um, replace the hard coded text by replacing the hard coded text I mean here. So for, a, for an example we are using a table and in the table we are providing the table field name as employee or employee data or maybe age. So all these um, field names are in English. So we have to re remove or replace this hard coded text with the I18N so that we could use this to use it in that other language like for an in German it this data may sound or pronounce differently so we have to replace all this hard coded text in UI5. So moving on to the next slide here we could see here local scripts files for different different specific language languages we create different different specific, specific files here for English English we create an English file for a German we create a German file. So just for an example here for by default we just create i18.properties itself and for if we are creating for English we write it as i18n underscore en dot properties and for German we write i18n underscore de dot properties or something like this. So each file has this extension dot dot properties since it is a resource model so we have to instant initialize this model in the manifest.json file. So that is done. Now we will just see the example here. So all these scenarios or this example I have explained in the video afterwards. So let me just go through it briefly. So first I have to create i18 folder and within this i18 folder we will mention this i18 files and all. So by default if we are running so i18.properties file would run and if we want to specify some other languages so we have to create like here I have specified question mark SAP UI dot uh, under uh, hyphen language equals to DE. So which means it would find DE file in the i18 folder that is i18 underscore DE dot properties. So what we are doing here we are initializing the i18 model in the component.js or the manifest.js. So you might remember in the previous videos where I have used json, JSON model and the odata model. We, for both we have initialized this model in the manifest.json file. So here i18 model it is also a resource model so therefore we have to initialize in the manifest.json file. So once we have gone through the initialization we will just bind the hard coded test with i18 model itself. And this I have already mentioned if you want to load the application using particular language. So here I have taken the example of DE. So you will mention this after your URL of the application. Now let us look at the practical demonstration of, of all these steps. Here we will see internationalization and localization in SAP UI5 application. And for this I will be using SAP Web ID. So this is my interface of the Web ID and we will be doing the code here in this demo table. So previously we have already made a particular table and here in this table we have used this view where we have given this all these columns here but here we were using these hard coded text that were just hard coded here date document type and all. So let me just run it and show you. So basically what we will do here we will not hard code here the values 
we will use it from i18 folder that is this one so here we can see th there is this i18 properties file where we could m mention all these values so let me just show you the table here so these all these data these are coming hard coded I have written this all here so what I will do I will mention all these values in the i18 properties and I will pick up the data from i18 properties file and place it here so to use the i18 properties I have, what I will do I will just mention this model resource bundle in the manifest.json file so the, this is our manifest.json file here in the sap.ui.ui5 namespace I will mention this model so here it is i18 model we have already mentioned so when we create a new project in SAP Web ID so this particular model is predefined by SAP Web ID itself so we need not do anything to define the models this particular model so the type is SAP UI dot model dot resource dot resource model so this is our resource model here and in the settings we have given the bundle name that is demo table is our namespace and i18 is a folder name and i18 this is our property file name so this was the first step in defining i18 model now what we have to do now we have to define i18 here in the view where we are using it so we should we have to replace this hard coded text and it should come from i18 and properties so for this I will just write bracket curly braces now i18 is our id i18 and so that's it it's it is simple and I will just save this now I have to mention this date in the i18 properties date equals to date itself now suppose if I have to mention multiple suppose for all these values I will just mention for all these values so I will just use it doc type that's okay and here also I will just write i18 and greater than and document description so in short I will just write doc, doc disk I will just change this also here I will write doc number so so these four values we will be taking from the i18 n model that we have created here so I have to mention the doc type doc disk doc number here also so the first one was doc type equals to document type then there was this doc description so it is not necessary that we have to provide in the correct form of correct order we could write anywhere so it is not necessary that we have to provide the correct order for this one more was there that is doc number doc number and this should be document number so that's it so I am going to just save this now what will happen all these values will be coming from this particular i18 property file I will just refresh this table here application so just to make sure that it is coming from there itself I will just show you the i18 property here it is so I will just refresh it so these values are coming from the i18 properties I will just show you if anything is wrong in the i18 and property file I will just make uh, some changes here I will just save this 
and I will just refresh it again. So 1, 2, 3 would appear here also. And that's fine. So these values, these four values are coming from the I18 model and all these are hard-coded text here. So we haven't changed these in the I18. We haven't used them in the I18. Now what we will do, this was the internalization pr process here. Now we have to create a local file that is if we have to use localization we will create a local file May, just for an example I will create I18 underscore DE properties DE stands here for German German language so let's just create one German language property here new and go to file then right here I18 and underscore DE dot properties that's it I will just click on OK. Now I will just copy whole from. OK, sorry. I will just copy this, copy and paste it here. Now I will just save this. Now what I will do in German date stands for something else. I will for just for an example, I will just write it something else. Maybe QWERTY date stands for QWERTY in German just for an example and doc type stands for something else doc doc type in cap in caps and doc description stands for doc desk and doc number stands for doc number so here I have just given examples here really it doesn't mean anything in German like this anything so I am just saving it now we have to load this particular German file for this. If I just refresh it again, nothing will happen. This particular date will still come and this particular data is already coming from the I18N properties folder. So now if someone has to load from the I18 underscore DE property file, what he has to do, just go to manifest.json file here and here you could see the bundle name what you could do here just add underscore DE just that I will just save this and if I if now now I just run this refresh it the data would come from I18 underscore DE property file see so the date is coming as QWERTY and all these are changed here you could see so I hope you have understood the concept of internalization and localization in SAP UI5. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.